With climate change, we have very, very little time left. And the longer we leave uh, our uh, relationship to the environment in the hands of corporations like ExxonMobil or BP or those who are building the XL pipeline or exploiting the tar sands, the faster we barrel towards collective suicide. Both in Canada and the United States, the political elites are completely hostage to the fossil fuel industry and are quite willing to sacrifice us all in the name of quarterly profit. We have betrayed our children. Even if we stopped all carbon emissions immediately, we would not free ourselves from the effects of climate change. Uh, and yet our response, uh, and this is largely fueled by a corporate-dominated media, is either to deny that climate change is real or uh, somehow believe that we can adapt. Uh, both are self-delusional. The question is, will the collapse of globalization come first, or will the collapse of the ecosystem come first, or maybe they'll both come together, but that's where we're headed towards. And to stand by and watch both the United States and Canada shred the Kyoto Accords, uh, when you read climate science reports, is truly terrifying, and I speak as a father, and, and much of the reason that I get arrested and I go out into the streets is because I have children, and um, you know, I may fail, uh, but at least my children will say that their father tried.